anybody here ever known of anybody who has uh, made a commitment to the Lord and His church and was on fire for a while and then all of a sudden just disappeared and quit? Things petered out really fast. There are several reasons. One of those reasons why that happens to people, and we all have known that, and we all probably still do know something, is because they come to Jesus and they come to his church for the wrong reasons. And they hold on to those wrong reasons. And those wrong reasons end up catching up with them. And they lose interest in Christ and his church. And it's so very, very sad. Um, this morning we are going to uh, explore a little bit what the, the great I am. Uh, do you remember when, when Moses was at the burning bush speaking with God? And he said, what is your name? What was it that got, how did God respond? I am. I am who I am, right? I am that I am. Seven times in scripture, Jesus mentions the fact that he is the I am. And we need to always pick those up when we read those. We're going to read one of those passages today when he says, I am the bread of life. He's saying more than just, I am the bread of life. He's saying, I am the I am. And that is very powerful to understand. Uh, well, with that kind of background, that kind of context, uh, we're going to read some scripture this morning. Uh, it's John chapter 6, verse 22. Through 35. I invite you to read silently as I read aloud. By the way, what, what is about to take place here um, happened a day, just hours before, just a day uh, after uh, Jesus had fed the 5,000. And then he went up on a mountainside and, and sent the disciples away on a boat, and the storm came and all that. Um, this happened just right after that. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the opposite shore of the lake realized that only one boat had been there, and that Jesus had not entered it with his disciples, but that he, that he had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias landed near the place where the people had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. Once the crowd realized that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into the boats and went to Capernaum in search of Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. You are looking for me not because you saw miraculous signs, and because, uh, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. On him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then they asked him, what must we, what must we do to do the works God requires? Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one who he sent. So they asked him, What miraculous sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our forefathers ate manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. And Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. It is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven. But it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, from now on give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, 
I am the bread of life. He or she who comes to me will never go hungry. He or she who believes in me will never be thirsty. This is the word of the Lord. 